Welcome back. Look who's here. Look who's home. My car is finally home. This has literally felt like the longest eight months of my life. But we actually went and picked up Vera yesterday from Shine. Um, so they've pretty much done their bit now in getting the engine looking absolutely banging, which I'll show you now. Look at that. Oh my good God. How sick does that look sat in there we've got the big old turb ski sat on there so the engine is still purple um if you saw on my instagram i've actually changed the color this video is probably gonna come have to come out after i've been to open the stand or is it maybe i'm just gonna have to reveal the color i'm just gonna have to do it aren't i no uh, is it no how am i going to make a video wrapping it when i'm not showing it on the color Oh, fuck it. We're going to show you the colour. It was originally going purple, which you can see behind. Now, I bought that wrap about... Oh, you can see the colour, a bit of spoiler. Um, I wrapped that colour, well, I bought that colour, like, a year and a half ago. And then, obviously, I never actually got fully got round to doing the full car. And then, by the time that I'd actually come back round to using it again, I was kind of over it. I'd used far better materials with, like, far better colours. And I just, I wasn't a fan of it anymore. And I thought, if I'm going to change the wrap colour, well, if I'm going to change the wrap, why don't I just completely switch up the colour? So I had a bit of a task on my hands in trying to choose a colour that would suit the car and also a colour that would go with the purple engine. And we went with this. Now, this probably looks absolutely nothing on camera where it looks like in person. In person, it's really turquoisey teal. It looks chrome blue on here. Oh, does it? Yeah. Well, it's not chrome blue. It's just like a really sparkly metallic teal colour. Um, which is absolutely gorgeous and the car's going to be going that colour now which I know some people might not like some people might love it I don't know I don't even know what it, I think of it yet because I have not seen it on a car so basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be wrapping it piecing everything back together retinting the windows sorting the interior out basically getting this thing looking like a car we've got loose wheels off of your C30 you're going to be going on the car for all the stance um, so it's probably going to be like a few videos to be fair, I'm not going to squeeze it all into one. So it's going to be chaotic, I don't actually know what the plan is, I'm just kind of going to roll with it, so you're going to roll with it with me. Absolutely, no messing around around here. I've took the old wrap off this wing, Lou's making a start on stripping the tint off the windows because they're all going to be retinted properly instead of the dodgy job I did last time. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull all the wings and stuff back on. The reason we took them off was because um, I took as many bits off the car that I could to wrap at home to save time. Um, but the car's here now, so it's a lot easier to wrap a panel on a car. So, yeah, I'm going to put all the panels back on the car. We're going to bring the bumper down from up there and see how that's going to fit. Um, and then we could start wrapping. Can you believe that Lou has just tried to tell me that he's taking this sticker off? Are you a scumbag? This sticker is iconic to this car. It has been there since day one that I, well, one of the first things I put on this car was that sticker and it stuck very true to its guns. Old Volvos never die and this one will never fucking die. You uncultured swine. One wing on, second wing on and Shine very kindly gave us all nice new bolts to put the wings on, seeing as though Lou lost them all because Iron. he's, you did. Lou lost them all because he's a moron. These are going to look scrumptious alongside all the other new bolts and bits and bobs that Shine have done. Attention to detail. Uh, if you remember back in my original days, back in the roots, um, I used to, I did a video about putting a new catch can in. No, not a catch can. Like the PCV um, box thing down here. And I can remember I showed you all this piece that is now beautifully red. Absolutely covered in oil. I'm actually going to put a bit on the screen now of that bit of the video. And can you believe that that is the same engine? Like, it went from that to this. That doesn't make sense in my head. How can this be the same engine? It literally looks brand new. What the heck? Right, so... Here's the back window with the tint taken off. And look how mean it is. You've still got like leftover glue from stickers. These stickers are all gonna come off. Because we've got all overspray here. So this is gonna be a spicy transformation. It's gonna be the cleanest glass you've ever seen. A bit like this. The cleanest glass you've ever seen. Jeez. So I got a bit carried away 
um, and I've actually wrapped a wing. I didn't get any of it on camera because I kind of just went off into my own little world, but it's so weird because it looks nothing like that colour that it is showing up on camera. It is literally the most like greeny, turquoisey colour, but it looks like bright blue. It's not blue. It's one of them where you'll have to see it in person to see what it looks like. Um, and now I'm just going to make a start on the door. So we've got one wing and a door. I've also bought the front bumper down from up there, stripped the purple off of it. And I think we'll just be able to get that to fit. And I've also test fit a light. Just because I wanted to see it kind of look like a car again. But it just looks like a weird bug. When I say that we are on fire over here, we've got, I've just done a door in like half an hour. I still need to tuck all the edges and stuff, but that won't take me long. So now I've got wing and a door. And two windows. And two windows. So you've done this little piece here and just done this rear window as well. We have been slightly distracted, like it's not taking us this long just to do two windows and two panels. I've been slightly distracted as we've actually fitted these wrap like roll holder things so now I can literally just pull the wrap off there and just cut it to the perfect size and and and, and one sign we have officially got one sign up there is another one that's going there and then there's one going out the front but we've officially got one woohoo look at this the tints Right, show them that side. Yeah. Right, now, no. <laughs> okay, so you can probably remember ages ago, I did tint this car myself. Now, I did it in literally a few hours before I started work because we, we were taking the car camping, weren't we? And we were yeah, yeah. Back a bit. So, I, it, if you've ever driven one of these, it's literally like driving around in a f***ing greenhouse. So, obviously, I tinted the windows. I used the shittest fine, like, film that you could get on eBay and I did it in an afternoon. No, I didn't do a very good job of it, as you can uh, probably see. We've got multiple air bubbles, we've got creases everywhere. Yeah, it's not very good. If you didn't know, me and Lou have both been on a window tinting course recently, which was a long time ago since I did that. And Lou is the better one out of the two of us because tinting kind of goes against everything that you would do for wrapping. Like, you would heat a wrap to stretch it, whereas you heat a tin film to shrink it. It's weird. So I found it quite hard to wrap my head around it, whereas Luke picked it up really quick. And he's actually tinted um, this rear window, which is not fully done yet, but... Not fully done. But it's a lot better than what I did, isn't it? This one's just been done. Yeah, this one's just been done. And look at that. Yeah. Shieldworks does do window tints now. Lou is the tinting master. I can do it as well myself, but... Kind you prefer wrapping, don't you? Yeah, I prefer yeah. wrapping. I kind of just leave it to him to do it. Holly, your boy for the tint work. Holly, your boy for the tint work. Am I showing the car? Yes. You're showing the car? Look at how freaking good it looks. Because you're showing the car. He's not going to actually look like a vehicle again. But I think now, because I've not actually had the bonnet down. Apart from when it got dropped off, but obviously it didn't have a light. But look how sick it looks. Like with the bumper. Obviously, it's going to sit a lot further away, uh, further in than that, but just like a car, what the hell? This is making me a little bit emotional. So, in what, how long have we been here? Six Seven hours. hours. Well, six and a half hours. We've managed to get a wing, a door, and the rear door done. I just need to do the top of that other door. And that's a lot of farting around in between. Like, we've literally built, well, I'll say we, Dave. Well, legend. <laughs> I know you're watching this, Dave Rigiza. We've built these, and I showed you them earlier, but I've needed these ever since we started. So I've built those, put the signs up outside, been just titting around in between to be fair. Testing wheels. Testing wheels, testing spaces. We've actually got the spaces, the correct spaces we need now to run your show wheels, because the wheels that I want for this car, I can't actually get until like next year because they're, um, they're out of stock everywhere and you have to import them from Sweden. So the show's in two weeks. We're going to be going on your wheels, which do fit. We just needed a 25mm spacer, which we had to get bored out, which is down there, which now fits. 
what is what she looks like now. I think she looks scrumptious. I know this colour was a bit of like, I don't know, I was a bit unsure. Like, I kind of thought after I'd ordered it, like, have I made the right decision? Should I just stuck with purple? But it suits it so well and it makes the purple engine look like 10 times better because it makes it stand out so much more. And obviously blue and purple go together, that's why I chose it. I'm sure. Oh, let's show the windows. So now the windows are dry. I'm doing a Ish. Well, dry-ish. But there's your tint work looking spectacular. And the rear window too. Look at that. Not a crease. Inside, I mean, she'd hope not. She spent a fortune on a fucking tin course, but she doesn't look like a piece of shit. She doesn't look like a scrapper. I'm proud to say that I'm going to own this. I feel like finally I'm going to be happy to say that this is my car. The shit continues tomorrow. Hello, everybody. It's day two. Day two of two so far. Um, we was up yesterday. We got all this fancy stuff done. Um, and now it's, well, I'm not here for very long today, I'm only here for a few hours because I'm actually at work later on this afternoon, which is why I look a little bit more presentable than what I would usually. I'm just gonna like come up for a few hours. The thing is, is because we've run such limited time, it's not just a case of, oh, I'm at work today, I'll just do it tomorrow kind of thing. Like any spare time I've got, I've got to be up here and I've got to be doing at least something. So um, I think what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna finish this door because the top piece needs to be done which is actually like really fiddly to do because these are all recesses so I've got to make sure that they're all perfectly stuck down and they're not going to lift at any point point. Um, and then maybe if we get time we might start to move on to this rear quarter but yeah Milo what are you eating? What are you doing? You're a pest you are. This video might be a bit you know choppy I don't really know how it's laying out to be fair because it's quite hard to keep on top of filming when you're in the zone like especially when you're rapping like it's really hard to remember like oh shit I should have filmed that and um, because you just get so into it and you get carried away and then before you know it the panel's done and then you're like oh so I'm basically I'm gonna do like a load of videos this week basically getting the car ready I'm not I could just do one long one but I'd rather just do them in little ones and then you guys can keep up to date with exactly where the car is and yeah obviously I was gonna keep the color a secret but that's gonna be pretty impossible when we're doing videos on it and who cares about the clout? I know it would probably get more views if I did one of those typical YouTube rap reveals, but seems. <laughs> I hope you like the colour. I fucking love it. I think it looks sick. Actually, like, pretty much like a more vibrant and like brighter version of the standard colour. Because the standard colour of the car was like this like aqua greeny bluey colour when I first got it. Um, and it was absolutely gorgeous. I love that colour, but the paint was just in terrible condition. So this like teal is what it is, it's kind of like a homage to the uh, to the original colour, which is quite nice. And it makes the purple pop way more, so yeah. I love it. I apologise if this video is all over the place, but I'm literally just trying to get everything done uh, in a very, very short time frame. But, you know, what else would you expect from me? You guys are coming along for this crazy journey. Now, this piece of the door is actually quite difficult. So, you look, it's only a small piece, but this is a kind of panel that will really, really test your post heating skills. As you, if you watched my last video, obviously where I explained everything that I did incorrectly on Lewis's car, post heating is extremely important. And without the correct post heating, things like grooves are just never gonna last and they are gonna look terrible within probably a day or so. So um, this is like a good example of how my skills have improved, as you can see. We have this really deep recess here where there is actually a black metal piece of trim which I have lost and cannot find for the life of me. So I think I'm just going to wrap over this bit black. But I thought this is the perfect opportunity to, you know, really solidify um, my post heating skills. And as you can see, this was done yesterday. And if I hadn't have post heated that correctly, that would have all bubbled up in that recess. All here would be bubbled up and it's still sat beautifully. And but yeah, just going to do this side now, which is a bit annoying because you need a big piece like that. I've just got us another job. Oh, sick. Right. That's what you love to see. Woohoo!
So, 10 minutes later, that's that piece done. Lovely jubbly. And from this off court, I'm actually gonna do this little pillar here, because I'm gonna do that separate. It is very, very slightly joined on to the rest of the uh, rear quarter, but I'm just gonna cut it to there, and then do that piece separate, and then that all as one piece. And let's go. been on a mission look at that so I I wasn't even intending on doing that piece today because I thought I wouldn't have time to but I think I laid that in about what, 20 minutes and then literally had that done in about half an hour so we've got rear quarter rear door front door wing we've got whole side blue and look how sick it looks I keep saying blue because it looks blue on the camera but it's very very green and teal in person but, oh my God, this is officially the furthest I've ever got wrapping this car before I'd only got up to this door. So to even just see this piece wrapped is a little bit weird. Do you like it, Milo? Yep, oh, watch that heat gun. Nice. Milo, pause. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, pal. I think I'm gonna leave, cut this video here because like I said, I'm not gonna do it all in one video because it's just gonna end up being dead long and Right, the paint edit. So I'm gonna do it in like little snippets. Oi. Excuse me. Right, give that to me. Get it. Shit. I'm gonna do it in little snippets um, and then try and get them uploaded like as soon as possible. So like, I'll probably try and edit this tonight, get this uploaded tomorrow, and then you can, stop it. You can keep. <laughs> Up to date with exactly where we are. See you next week. No, not next week. In two days. Two days.